Hi there, how are you going? My name's Brendan Morello. I'm from Morello Guitar School and the G4 Guitar Network. And today we're going to have a look at the C major scale. Now for most beginner guitarists, this is probably the first scale that you will learn. And the, the best thing about scales is that it gets you to learn where the notes are on the fretboard, uh, but also gets you to work your fingers and gets the dexterity happening. So a scale is when we start, it's a sequence of notes starting on, in this case, we're going to be doing the C major. So we're going to be starting on C. We're going to go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So we're going through the scale um, from low C, which is here on the fifth string, third fret, all the way up to the high C, which is going to be on the second string, first fret. So that's called an octave. So an octave is when you go seven notes higher from, you know, in this case it's C, so we're going C, D, E, F, G, A, B, so seven notes up and back to the C again, so which is the eighth note. So an octave is when you go seven notes higher and land back on that same starting note again, but that's, you know, seven notes higher. Okay, so hopefully that's uh, a clear explanation. If you have any questions, please email me. Um, now, let's start off with um, the beginning note. So we're going to go from the fifth string third fret, and that's a C. Now, you just want to get your finger just behind the fret, not on top. But just behind the fret, okay? Don't want to get them too, the, the fingers too far back. Even in the middle, you can get a bit of a a buzz sound. So the closer you get to the fret, the cleaner it's going to sound. And you know, when we start to play it at, at higher speeds, you'll be more accurate and you won't have as many problems. So the first note C. Second note is going to be the open fourth string, which is called the D. So the first two notes are C. D, so third fret, fifth string, C, and then open fourth string. And then the next note is going to be on that fourth string still. And we're going to play with our second finger just behind the second fret of that fourth string. So it's going to be C, D, E, C, D, E, and then the next note. It's going to be our third finger on the third fret of the fourth string, which is an F. So you can see here when we're in the first position, you always use your third finger for the third fret, second finger for the second fret, first finger for the first fret. So that's that's a kind of a rule of thumb there. Um, first finger, first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, and then the pinky for the fourth fret. We won't be using the pinky in this scenario though. So we've got C, D, E, F. So that's the third fret of the fourth string. The next note's going to be the open third string, which is called G. So we go C, D, E, F, G. All right. So now the next note's going to be the second fret of the third string which is called A. So we've got C, D, E, F, G, A. Alright, so now the next one's going to be the open second string which is called B. It's a B because it's called the B string because when we pick it, the pitch it makes is the, is the note B. So we're going to go, so C, D, E, F, open third string G, second fret of that third string, open second string. That's the B. Then the last note there is going to be the first fret of the second string. So that's the first fret of the second string, and that's called C. So as you, now we can go from C, D, E, G, A, B, C. 
So we've gone an octave higher. I've gone from the low C to the high C. Now, once you've got that happening, you get comfortable with the notes, we can apply down up picking. So that means that we go down and then up on the next note, then down, up, down, up, down, up. That's called alternate picking. So which means whenever you go down, the next one is going to come up. So again, it's going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then coming back down, we go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So first step, get the notes happening under your fingers. Get comfortable. Use the correct fingers too. Um, Without the correct fingers, it's going to be, you know, if you start here on the second finger, you're going to have to adjust. So set up with the third finger on the third fret of the fifth string and then move through the scale using third finger, third fret, second finger, second fret, etc. Now, and then once you've got that happening, implement the down up picking and then do and then and then with the beat. So the metronome is the last step. All right, I hope that's cleared a few things up for you if you're looking to learn the C major scale. If you've got any more questions, please email me at morello, M-O-R-E-L-L-O, guitar school, all one word, at gmail.com. You can visit my website at www.morelloguitarschool.com.au and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.